so you you work in public health and you said that they're all different you started off in one position but never worked a similar position throughout um so how were you able to do that is it because you like new people or you know like what led you into the next career path right like let's say you started in one place like what led you to the next I think a lot of it is um, I knew that I had different interests and I knew what different interests I wanted to explore in terms of pivoting from one area to the next. A lot of it was marketing. Um, I honestly, I didn't take, you know, new classes or I didn't even get like new certifications or anything, although that is um, definitely something that you could do if you want to pivot from one area to another. Um, for me, it was just how you want to market yourself. So I actually previously worked for the New York City Department of Health. Mm -hmm. So when I was trying to work for them, I marketed myself more as interested in policy, um, you know, and, and governmental affairs, that kind of perspective on healthcare. Then when I wanted to move into the healthcare administration space, I, you know, took it more as I'm interested in taking the policy that I've learned now more about and implementing it in an administrative arena. So it's just building on what you've done in your previous roles and how you're going to bring that skill or passion to your current position. Um, after that, I went into a project management role. And so I, I just connected, you know, in my interviews and discussions, I connected how I took what I learned from my previous two roles in policy and administration to how that applies in project management for a large academic medical center. Um, and then now I'm in a more public health and community health fo focused role. So it's just that same thing, taking what you've learned and learning to market yourself. Um, and, and honestly, I think that that's, you know, I think that that's a huge skill that, you know, you don't necessarily learn in college, mm -hmm. um, but it's just so important, you know, being able to speak to your strengths, um, being able to speak to, even though you might've not worked in that specific area how you verbalize that I, even though I haven't worked in that area, I have done projects that touch on these areas that would mm -hmm. definitely impact what your team is working on. Um, and, you know, bring value to what your organization is prioritizing. Thank you. So that much. makes a lot of sense. And it is really important um, for students or anyone just to know what's transferable as you move from one area to the next. So mm -hmm. that's definitely Absolutely. something we emphasize with the resumes because a lot of students are like, I've never done this. I don't <laughs> have it. I don't have the experience. I don't know, you know, I don't have anything. And only in conversation, we find out there's a lot of things that you could add to your resume. And definitely. Some stuff that looks like, okay, it's just this, but it's a transferable skill and that employer needs that. So Absolutely. And, and there's people that um, I've worked with in the past who are remarkable, but don't know how to market themselves. Yeah. And then there are people that might have no experience, but they can sell themselves, you know? Yeah. Um, and, and that's, that's the yeah, difference. Both, so it, it is ways. really important to learn how to sell yourself. 